Today's video is an absolute banger and I've got some crazy tips and tricks to show you guys from new spawn peaks to crazy C4 spots and some really strong angles that you can use. We've got it all in today's video. Now make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get to 300 likes for this video. We just missed out on that goal on the last one. So let's get 300 on this video. Now without me talking anymore, let's dive in and check out this brand new spawn peak on Consulate. Now, big shout out to a gaming gamer and Augustus for finding this one located on the second floor hallway just off the visa stairs. If you break open that single window and then go into the room and reinforce the door. And if you make two punch holes in the door, you can jump up on top of the desk behind you. Now, what you need to do is just move slightly forward so that you fall off the edge of the desk and you can run and vault through the door and turn onto the window ledge. Now, once you're on the window ledge, you have endless angles for possibilities to pick off any attackers as they're approaching the building. Now, I don't actually like to use this as a spawn peak. I think the better way to use this is that you wait for someone to get up onto that balcony to try and get that single wall open, like in this clip here, and you can pick them off as they're aiming into that single wall. Now staying on console for this next one, you might remember this angle I posted in a video a good while back. Now they've removed the vault prompt onto this table, but you can still do this with a Zami on both sides of this wall. If you place an Azami barrier right on the side of the pillar, as you can see on screen, you can vault over the side of it up on top of the table. Now once you're up here, you can see over the top of the wall all the way down to the end of the hall. And with the added bonus of now having an ACOG, you'll be able to get some really easy picks on attackers pushing the piano site. Now, like I said, you can go around to the other side and do this for anyone who's coming to the window outside or coming up yellow staircase. So it's the same thing. You, you break the pots on the table, you place the keeper barrier on the side of the pillar and you can vault up on top of the table. You can then walk up on top of the pots, which gives you extra elevation and you can have that window prepped and try pick off any attackers as they're trying to enter into the building or walking past the window. Now, of course, the same goes for anyone coming up that yellow stairs. You'll see where my bullets are hitting. You'll be able to see most of their body as they're coming around that corner, and they'll have no idea that you're sitting up there. And moving on to coastline for this insane C4 spot. Now, this was one that's been around for a long time, but it's been made so much easier with the addition of the trajectory. Now what you can do here is you shoot a few holes in the floor in the corner of pink bar. Now usually people plant behind the bomb chassis right here, that's the default plant spot. But if you make a couple of holes in the corner of this room, instead of having a prepped C4 underneath, or if you're under pressure and you're pinned in this area and they're getting the diffuser down, you can line up a C4 onto the wall underneath inside blue bar. You'll be able to see here that literally they're planting the diffuser and you can pick them off and they'll be so confused as to how they got picked off. Moving on to Clubhouse for a few tricks to show you here. The first of which is a really strong angle that you can use inside the bedroom on the second floor. Right outside the door of the bathroom, if you shoot a hole in the floor and then a hole in the top of the wall inside stage, you can see all of that main stairs. Now you can do this on attack and defense. It's also a really strong angle to use for both sides. You can then break the right hand side of the wall and you'll be able to see the doorway into kitchen, which will be really strong on defense for attackers as that is a very high traffic area. You can see where the bullets are hitting here at the bottom of the stairs. So if they're pushing their way down towards the site, you can catch them off guard and get some easy picks. Now this one is another little angle that you can use for down inside the arsenal room. Now this is just a kind of more of a safe angle to use. So you don't get C4 from anyone in that hallway down below. You can shoot a wall open in stage and then shoot the floor open from underneath. And you'll be able to see all the way towards the back wall of arsenal. 
all those little corners that defenders would be sitting in are completely exposed by the use of these angles. Now this next one is inside garage it's actually quite a simple one but it's such a cool one because you get that extra elevation that you need to be able to see anyone who's standing right outside that cc window up above and normally people would make a small hole in the top of the wall and shoot out what you can do is if you come over to this red tool table you'll be able to vault up on top of it and from there you can make holes in the top of the wall and have a little bit of extra cover from the wall to your left and you can pick anyone off who's trying to walk across highway and looking in CC window. You can see here outside where my bullets are hitting. So if they're sitting up there droning out or just trying to get some shots into CC window to get some of that utility off the wall, you can catch them off and get an easy pick. Now this next one is down inside the arsenal room. This is a really sick azami spot that you can use. Just here, if you jump up on the counter and make some holes in the cabinet above on the top, you can see all the way through the cabinet out into the blue hallway. Now to add a little bit of safety to this, if you place an azami barrier right on the edge of the counter, it will protect your entire body when you're sitting up on top of the counter. You can then look through the gap in the cabinet for anyone coming through that hallway and you can pick them off really easily. Now you can protect yourself from dirt as well by placing a Kiba barrier on the side of the generator so you have extra protection from anyone pushing from that side. And moving on to border for a little cheeky hiding spot that you can use just inside the metal detectors inside armory. Now it's really straightforward, anyone pushing in through that metal detector will not be looking right on the edge of the metal detector. So if you shoot those buckets, you'll get a vault prompt up on top of these weapons crates and you can tuck yourself in against the metal detector. So if anyone's coming through the door, they won't be able to see you. Now on top of that, you can get some extra angles up here. It can be risky for that window out onto the vents, but if you stay in line with the concrete part of the wall, you can just get a small pixel peek onto that window. You can also open up holes through the wall in towards offices and you can get some extra angles to pick off attackers. And moving on to Oregon for this one, big shout out to Breezy for showing me this. This is a reversed shield position that you can use just inside the attic door off of dorms mains. Now, a lot of people place it in the normal way of just placing it looking forward. Whereas if you turn it around the other way and place it, you'll get a pixel angle out through the door into trophy. You can see here that it's still a large enough gap. So what I've done is you can replace it again and just move it a slightly bit over and you'll be able to have a pixel angle onto the trophy door. I do have a gameplay example of this from Breezy himself getting a couple of picks from this spot. It's a really strong position. Now, of course, they can destroy the deployable shield, but if you have this shield still up late in the round, it is a very strong shield to have. And moving on to Chalet for a double drone combo that you can use that can really change around for the attackers. You'll have so much intel with the use of these. So just off the solar window, if you repel up and throw your drone off the beam, just like I did, it will land on the beams above solar. You'll have so much intel for your team of anyone coming out bathroom, coming up the solar stairs or coming out of the bedroom door. Now the second drone will add on to this if you come around to the front side of the building and shoot open that double window into bedroom and stand exactly where i've pinpointed on screen you can throw your drone off the beam on the ceiling and it will land on the beam up against the wall you will have access and information for the whole of the bedroom the door going out towards the piano room and the rotate into office site as your team is pushing you'll be able to rotate between the two drones to get that extra intel and moving on to Night Haven for this really strong Cade spot that you can use located inside the IT room on the second floor. Now you just reinforce the wall like normal and if you go downstairs into vending on the first floor and break open the window, you can place a Cade claw on the underside of the wall down below. This will get all of that IT wall upstairs. So attackers trying to get that wall open will find it much more difficult to destroy that K-Claw because normally people would go into the supply room and shoot from below onto the ceiling to get the utility off the wall. 
you'll be left confused and it will delay a lot of time and help you secure the round. So that is it for the video today guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, go down into the comment section and let me know what other types of tips and tricks you'd like it to see on the channel and I'll do my best to bring them to you. Make sure to get into my Discord, if you have a trick that you'd like to have featured on the channel, join up on my Discord, the link is in the description. And of course I stream over on Twitch almost every day, if you want to come over and see some of these tricks in action, follow me over on Twitch. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And as always, Sam Guamia Scampia.